Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to get into it today. We're going over mine and Dan's favorite secondhand finds that we found in the last year or so. We did do a few similar videos. One, probably late 2020, early 2021. It's been a while since we did one. Exactly this was our favorite secondhand finds. So you can go check that out above. And then we also did an eco home tour in Japan and an eco home tour in Las Vegas. So you should check those out as well. And a fourth video you should watch is how I thrifted, how I furnished our entire home secondhand once we moved to Las Vegas. And I don't think we bought anything brand new for this home, which is really exciting and just really kind of shows you that you don't have to buy things brand new. You can furnish your whole home secondhand no matter what your style, no matter where you live. Of course, the only thing that it does come down to is if you have a car, that is something that can be a big hindrance on transporting some of this stuff and driving to some of these locations. So that's just something to keep in mind. You could rent something like a U-Haul or you can ask a friend to help you out if you don't have a car. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I hope you enjoy. I'm very excited. So my favorite thrifted finds in here that I didn't mention in part one are these two gray chairs. I think we got them on Facebook Marketplace for only like $60 for the both of them. Um, it was a great deal and it was our first piece of furniture for our new home. And then over here, actually pretty much all of my big house plants, I got them secondhand for free on Facebook Marketplace. I think plants are really easy to find secondhand and also for free. So you just got to ask and join like garden groups on Facebook and like plant groups on Facebook, you can probably find a bunch of plants. Um, even some of the bigger ones I have over here that I've propagated since, I got them for secondhand as well, though they weren't free. Anyway, to the kitchen. So yeah, here's one of the plants I got secondhand and then these three little babies that I have yet to put in pots. But they're all sitting on this, which we also got on secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. I don't remember how much this one cost, but it's been great. It's extra kitchen storage. We got ourselves a drunk drawer a second junk drawer. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Move to the office. And then pretty much everything in here is secondhand. This standing desk, which is amazing. Let's see if it goes. This chair is not the best, but we found it in the trash, so it was free, so that's nice. I think this was also found in the trash. Goodwill, maybe. Another thrift store, Goodwill. Anyway, even the plants were secondhand, but I definitely say some of my favorites. You can probably see the light. Can you see the light? Yeah. Um, this was secondhand as well. This and the standing desk are probably my favorites in this room. So one of my favorites is this here Nintendo Switch. It got me through my last deployment uh, that I just got off of. I bought it while I was there, but I got it secondhand off of eBay and had it mailed to me. It kept me busy doing my long 12 hour shifts at work and everyone at work enjoyed it. We got to play video games together and pass the time when we weren't doing any work. And if you're looking for more ways to find tech secondhand without getting scammed, I just made a video about it. You can check it out up here. So my favorite secondhand things out here are our compost bins, all three of them secondhand. The black one we got on Facebook Marketplace. The second one we just found in the trash as a tub we repurposed. And the third one we found on OfferUp. That one's my favorite though. It's really big. Anyway, we have three compost bins because we live in Las Vegas. Stuff doesn't really compost very well here. So it was not ever like shrinking down. We had to wait for those two smaller ones to decompose. So that's how we got the third one. And now it's going pretty good. So one of my favorite things that I've gotten recently is my mountain bike. Uh, moving back to Las Vegas, I was excited to get into the outdoors and try some new outdoor activities. One of them being mountain biking, which uh, if you don't know about mountain bikes, mountain bikes are incredibly expensive. They can run up to the cost of some cars. I thought I was going to only be able to afford an entry level bike, but after looking on Facebook Marketplace, I found this one used from a guy at work that I was able to buy for about $2,000 off what it normally would cost, but it's still a really high quality bike and it is much better than I would have been able to afford if I had to buy a new one. Okay, that is it. And just keep in mind, those are our favorite things. That's not just everything in our home that we have secondhand. And I hope you enjoyed having Dan back in these videos because like, as he said, he's been gone for six months. So it's fun to get to film with him again. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I talk about all sorts of things, zero waste, focusing on free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste and practical ways to be an activist. And if you enjoyed this video or found any value in it, please give it a thumbs up and share this with others if you think they would find value in it as well. And let me know your favorite thrifted finds down below. And again, don't forget to check out all those other videos that I mentioned, they are down below. And until next time, remember that your small actions have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> no, come back. <laughs> so we had to wait for those two, oh my gosh. We had to wait for those two smaller ones to fill up. Anyway, that's it. Don't record me.